the Sandra Show. I am sitting here with the one and only Miss Andromeda Rahim. Again, welcome. We're so delighted to have you here. She is the CEO and founder of She Wins Society. Now, when we left, you were talking about having a winning mindset. Yes. Can you share a personal experience or story where having this winning mindset made a significant difference in your own life or career? Oh, goodness. So the story that pops up in my mind immediately is experiencing a setback in life. Um, some years ago, I can't even remember how many years ago, I experienced a life setback mm. to where, you know, I had been, I had achieved my goal of getting my accounting degree. Mm -hmm. I was working in my job. And then eventually I decided to myself, like, oh, this is not actually my purpose. Like, mm. I don't, I don't feel like this is my purpose. So I sought out to figure out what my purpose was. And in making that decision, I decided to quit my job. And with wow. my husband's support, we took this journey into me being an entrepreneur. And so through that throw, life threw us some curveballs of and course. we went from a two income to one income to no income. Oh, Jesus. And so our life was basically turned upside down. Mm -hmm. And I remember in that moment, I had to decide for myself whether I was going to continue to pursue my purpose or go back to what was familiar to me. Ooh. And I decided to double down on my purpose. Love that it. looked like me going to Starbucks and spending the entire day working up in a course called 30 Days to Becoming an Empowered Woman. That was my very first course. And I remember spending just days and nights getting this course together. And when I launched it, I ended up making like $800 in an hour. Are you serious? I am serious. You see? Stick <laughs> to your purpose. Yes. Purposeful living. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's a great story. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so are there any specific mindset shifts or mental exercises that you recommend to help people overcome self-doubt and develop a more resilient and winning mindset? Yes, absolutely affirmations are important, mm. right? Reminding yourself that you are powerful, you are worthy, you are capable, you are strong. I definitely subscribe to affirmations as part of my daily routine. Also, prayer is a big part of my life, yes. right? Like, yes. I don't know how anybody is getting anything done without knowing how to walk in faith, right? Mm. So Correct. strengthening your faith, taking that time to definitely have a relationship with God and know that you can do all things, right? Ooh, um, you can't take a leap of faith if you don't, if you don't have faith. You cannot. Right? You it's cannot. just so deep. So I love the fact that you say that you pray, mm -hmm. but you also have affirmations. Yes. Now, affirmations, sometimes you think, like, am I really telling myself this mm -hmm. and just giving you the big head? Or is it giving you the courage and the strength to go out and do? What's the difference between affirming and just, like, talking yourself up? Mm, okay, so this is the difference. I'm glad you asked that question. Thank sometimes you. people think about affirmations like it's magic. Like, okay, I'm just going to say this and then this is going to be. That's really not the case. What you are doing is, I always say where your mind goes, your body follows. Mm. So when you are constantly telling yourself, I am capable, I am going to achieve this thing, I am living this life, you are going to start moving in the direction of all of the things that you're saying. I love that. Is, is, would that be called manifesting? Yes. We'll come yes. up with the manifestation. <laughs> Listen, so some women struggle, Andromeda, to work together and support one another. Unfortunately, let mm -hmm. me say that. What are some common reasons behind this and how can we overcome these barriers? Oh. Talk to us women, <laughs> the barriers, the unneeded barriers. Uh, I think that the one of the biggest things is this idea that we are in competition with one another. Correct, I, and we're not. We're not. I think that jealousy and envy a lot of times gets in the way. That is like one of the biggest barriers to our success. Yes. Oftentimes we hear, we've heard that saying, like people like you until they feel like you're doing better than them. Ooh. Because that brings out your insecurities, right? Now you're looking at your sis who you may have been coming up with, but now she's, you feel like she's riding above you and that is making you feel insecure and inadequate because you are not where she is. And I think that what we need to understand is that we all have a journey and we're not all meant, meant to arrive at the same place at the same time, but we all have a journey of it's purpose. It's so true. And doesn't that bring us back to the key word today, sisterhood. Sisterhood. When yes. you start seeing your sister growing and elevating, you're happy for her. Cause guess what? That sisterhood that you formed, mm -hmm. she gonna look out for you too. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So where are these boundaries or insecurities really coming from? If it's a true sisterhood mm -hmm. and that's 
that's why I don't want us to use the word so lightly. Right. When you say it, mean it. Mean what you say. Mm -hmm. Be that sister. See that woman moving up and just be like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Yes. Because you know what? I believe that God looks at us and he wants to know if we're going to be happy for other people. You can count on me. Yes. <laughs> Don't get me started up in here. <laughs> Somebody say yeah. yeah. Listen, it ain't nothing but the truth. Listen, I love that. Okay, back to you. <laughs> I was just going to say, we have to learn how to see ourselves in one another and want for our sisters what yes. we want for ourselves. Yes. Again, knowing there's room enough for us all to win. And if I'm sitting at your table and sis, you're winning, that means you can pull up some more seats. You can help me to elevate our connection. Connections are the most valuable currency that we have. That is so true. And listen, just to be a little, you know, crazy, <laughs> it's no fun going to the spa by yourself. Of course, you yeah. want your friends to do great <laughs> so we can all sit around with our hair tied yes. up in the middle, in the, in the towels, and enjoy life together yes. and eat peeled grapes <laughs> and all of that fun all stuff. Of it. Yes. it comes with sisterhood, though. Sisterhood, it comes yes. with sisterhood and brotherhood. Sure. I just can't imagine y'all. I can imagine y'all out on the French Riviera or somewhere. Fabulous in your suits, Fancy. eating together, <laughs> wearing the finest clothes. You know what I'm saying? I just love it for everybody. And just remember that there's enough to go around. Plenty. God gave us enough. All right. So when is the right time for someone to consider hiring you, a life coach? <laughs> That's a good question. As well. All these amazing questions. <laughs> When you get to a point in your life where you have gone as far as you can go and you are not able to figure out what you need to do next, mm. that is when you absolutely need to reach out to a life coach. A life coach is like any other coach, right? If you think about a football team, a life coach is going to help you to come up with a game plan that's going to help you to reach the goals that you want to reach. A life coach is going to cheer you on. They're going to motivate you. Yes. And they're going to help you make sure that you are staying in, the, in a winning mindset. I love that. You know, as you're talking to me, a theme song came up for me, for you. Okay. Call me if you need someone to talk to. Ya. Okay. Call me. Y'all remember that song? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> call me. Call me. So listen, yes. you're going to call Miss Andromeda when you need all of these things because you have, and if you don't have the answers, you will research it and get the answers for us, right? Absolutely. I love Absolutely. that mindset alone. Thank you. So what benefits can people expect to gain from the experience of life coaching with Andromeda? Well, one I can't thing, stop rolling at all. <laughs> I hear it. <laughs> Make me sound really <laughs> exotic over here. <laughs> you are exotic. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, definitely, I am inexperienced in myself. Thank you. That. Yes, you so are. That's you an affirmation, y'all. <laughs> yes. Okay. You are going to get high energy. You are going to get support. You are going to get truth and honesty. You are going to get someone who is on your side. Yes. And again, I'm not, when you come to me, I'm not going to try to change your vision. Whatever vision God gave you, whatever purpose you feel like you have, I'm going to help you to reach that goal. Wow. Develop it. Mm -hmm. But I might need you to say, well, no, Sandra, maybe not. What about this? I'm, you, what you might hear me say is, well, you might need to do this first before you do that. Okay, right? I your love mindset that. And is it's not up right, to us to listen that's to you. Right, okay, that's I right. love that. <laughs> so the power of mindset is crucial. Is. Can you explain how the type of mindset a person has can impact their lives and their experiences, especially women? Listen, Come on. Our, mindset is everything. I feel like your mind is the most powerful asset that you have. And it's, it, we create a set of beliefs, right? So everything that we are saying to ourselves, everything that we think about life, right? Think about those people who, there are those people who say, the world is my oyster. I can have whatever I want. There's so much available to me. And then there are people who are talking themselves out of pursuing their purpose because they say, oh, no, that's, that can't happen for me. Oh, that's for somebody special over there. And so it's important that we, again, understand that our mindset, where our minds go, where our mind goes, our body follows. Ooh. And so we want to, again, make sure that the set of beliefs that we have, because ultimately that's what your mindset is, a set mm -hmm. of beliefs that you have about yourself, about the world, that they are actually in alignment with your goals, with your vision, with your dreams, with your purpose. If the thoughts that you are thinking are not in alignment with that, then it's going to hinder your ability to actually reach that goal. So if you're saying to yourself, I want to be a millionaire, then you need to be thinking it's possible for you to be a millionaire, of right? It's possible for you, for you to be in spaces with millionaires. It's possible for you to create things that are going to allow you to be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. All of that needs to be thought of. But most people... 
honestly don't see, allow themselves to think that high of themselves so they don't ever actually achieve as much as they think. And so we them. need to see you because you're gonna help pull that out, but also you said a few things. You said that where your mind goes, your body follows. Mm -hmm. It's so important that we wake up with this mindset yes. then, right? Yes. So let's talk about morning mindfulness. Mm. Making sure that we wake up with the right mindset to, mm -hmm. to start our day and get us through whatever challenges that mm -hmm. we face. How does that look for you in the morning when you're talking to someone about how to start this mindset? It starts in the morning, right? Oh, absolutely. It starts mm -hmm. in the morning. And I talk, that's why I talk a lot to women about having morning routines. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's important. I say that the first thoughts of your day are really important to you, but we don't even allow ourselves most of the time to sit with ourselves when we first open it's our so eyes, true. right? You don't know what, if you allow yourself to really sit with yourself when you first open your eyes, you will get a lot of divine downloads. That's what I've noticed. Mm -hmm. So taking that, that time first when you open your eyes to not jump into grabbing your phone, checking social media, email. Mm. Allow yourself to just sit with yourself for a minute and think about what's coming to you, how you actually feel, right? And then going into things like meditation, taking time to write down what you're grateful for, taking time to write down your affirmations, taking time to exercise, move your body, do things that are going to make you feel good, that are going to fill you up, right? Mm. That's going to help you, again, change how you think about things, right? Because if you feel good, you're going to be thinking higher, right? That is so true. I need you to say that for the people in the back. <laughs> if you feel good, you are going to think higher. If you feel good, you're going to think higher. Mm -hmm. I love that. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit more about in the morning when you have these, these thoughts in your head. Mm -hmm. How do you get those thoughts to go in the right direction? Because you're dealing and fighting with your subconscious mm -hmm. when you wake up, right? Mm -hmm. So the subconscious is presenting things to mm -hmm. you that it's like, that might not be your routine or what you set up. I'm going to read this. Mm -hmm. affirmation on page 275, mm -hmm. but you wake up dealing with subconscious thoughts. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that to set your day off? Mm, that's a good question. One of the first thing you do is definitely allow yourself to feel what you feel, mm. right? Allow yourself mm -hmm. to feel what you feel, be in that moment, but then ask yourself a couple of questions. The first one is, is this, is this real, right? right? Is this actually real? Because I've woke up sometimes and just felt like, I don't like it, just like they say, on the wrong side of the bed, I felt off, didn't yes. feel right. And I have to ask myself, well, like, what is the reason why I actually feel like this? Is mm -hmm. there something I could actually pinpoint to say that I feel wrong, off? If not, then that's not real. We're going to move past that. The other thing is to, again, implement those affirmations. So anytime you think something to yourself, mm -hmm. you have to ask yourself, is that thought going to move me closer to my goals or further away? If it's not going to move me mm -hmm. closer, let me pause and shift and say something positive. Because it, it could just be critter brain. It could. It could just be critter brain. It could. And something you've seen maybe on social media before you've gone to sleep, mm -hmm. something you've watched on television, mm -hmm. and now your subconscious has also grabbed it. Yep. Or somebody said something to you. And so you have to be able to take that and push mm -hmm. it away from your conscious state mm -hmm. is what mm -hmm. you're saying. Absolutely. You replace it with, it with something better. Right? Pull it up and replace yes. it with a positive Erase, replace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I love all of that. It's With okay. that being said, Andromeda, thank you so much for joining us. To all of our viewers, listen, it's about the sisterhood for the culture. Take us out of here. God bless you. Exclusive content for you right here on the Sasaja Show. That's only on Afro TV, Comcast Xfinity Channel 1623. Oh yeah. But don't put that remote down. Don't go nowhere. We got plenty more entertainment for you right here on Afro TV. If you are at work, at home, y'all drop everything and tune in because it's time for the Sasaja Show! Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm just kidding. Don't y'all get fired. Don't drop everything at work. Listen, speaking of fired, y'all...